U ovom uključenju ono što je najbitnije jeste da ćemo mi sutra okupiti najveće stručnjake i eksperte u ovoj oblasti na drugom međunarodnom sajmu konferenciji Zelene gradnje u Belekspo centru. Čućemo i najnovije tendencije, ali i videti dokle smo stigli i Beograd i Srbija koliko su odmakli za ovih godinu dana od održavanja prvog međunarodnog sajma Zelene gradnje. Meni je veliko zadovoljstvo da predstavim jednog od najvećih eksperata u ovoj oblasti, predsjednika najveće izdavačke kuće kada je reč o zelenoj gradnji Building Green, ali isto tako i eksperta za održive materijale u zelenoj gradnji i tako dalje i tako dalje. Sad ovde zaista ne bi bilo dovoljno vremena da nabrajam sve. Gospodin Nadav Malin, dobar dan, dobrodošli, good morning and welcome. Thank you for coming. Dobar dan. Može i na srpskom za sada i Marija Golubović, predsjednica Saveta zelene gradnje Srbije. Dobar dan, Marija. Dobar dan, hvala. I dobrodošli. Gospodin Malin, jedan od najvećih eksperata u ovoj oblasti. Kažu, jedan od najvećih autoriteta one of the highest authority in the field of green build. Yes, very much. Yes, is that correct? You, for you, for you. No, 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 really. No, Maria is very knowledgeable. Is that correct? When we're talking about you? I've been doing it for a long time. So, yes, I've been involved watching the industry grow for a very long time. So, I know a fair amount about it. Exactly, why green build? Why build green at all? Yeah. Why, why are we interested in that? It started. Could you tell us something uh, more about that? Yes. Well, it started actually, I think, with uh, a particular focus on health. People were hearing that sometimes some things in buildings were making them sick, or they weren't getting out and, and uh, getting the clean air into buildings. There were things coming into buildings that were a little bit toxic. And so there were stories about people getting sick in their homes or in their offices. And so it started with people saying, how can we get these talk? Why are we putting these polluting things in the buildings? Let's start to clean that up. And there started to be a lot of interest. People care about their health, right? People care if anything, if something is making me sick. So a lot well, of I start benefits. with that. And then, so we started with that, and a lot of people were interested. And that drew people in. But then also, of course, the planet is sick, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, the whole Earth is being, we're cutting down the forests, we're polluting the air, we have climate change, we have loss of biodiversity, we have all these you know, water problems. And so people said, well, if we care about our health, we should also care about the health of the planet. And there's so many things you can do in buildings mm -hmm. to reduce those problems, to make things better, starting by making buildings less wasteful. We've been building a certain way for many, many years because oil and, and fuel was, was very cheap, right? Mm. And people said, oh, we don't care how much we use because it's, it's almost free. So we can build big glass towers and have to a lot of cooling and all of that, but nobody cared. And then oil started to get more expensive and we started to pay attention to the climate. We started to realize the climate change and all these things going on. We said, well, look, look how wasteful these buildings are. So let's just rethink that. Mm -hmm. Let's look at new ways to build, and we can make buildings that are more comfortable, people are happier, people are healthier, and they use less energy, and they use less water, and so it's better, better all around. Mm -hmm. Seems like a good thing. Yes, of course. Dakle, mnogo benefita. Da, mnogo benefita kao, ja ću samo ukratko mm -hmm. prevesti. Počelo od zdravlja. Ljudi su počeli da se pitaju šta stavljamo u zgrade, da li postoji neki štetan uticaj, da li možemo bolje i naravno sve je krenulo i od toga što cena naravno nafte je bila drugačija, sad već imamo i troškove i onda smo se rešilo da jednostavno ceo pokret i zelene granje jeste jeste jedan put ima više benefita što kažu 3P people, planet, profit, ljudi i planet i profit, znači nije samo jedan aspekt da to je suština dakle više je struka primjena koja se je našla zelena granja koja je našla u mnogim poljima to je kao što Gospodin Malim je jednom rekao, like you said once, that is very nice, that actually this practical certification program for the green buildings are the good practices that are coming from Japan, Europe and US, that's what you were saying, and gathered, to je dobra praksa koju znači ponovo primenjujemo, tako da iz više razloga znači. Some things, some things should happen by the codes. The building codes should get better. So the worst, you know, we should all buildings should be a certain level of efficiency, should have a certain level of air quality, all that, and that that gets better and better. But there are still some people that really want to do the best, that want to go beyond. They really care. They see an opportunity also to differentiate, right? To to stand out in the market. To say, you know, look, this building is really green, or this building is really good for people, or or this company really cares about the planet the environment so we want to be
be in buildings that make that statement for us. And so these rating systems, the screen building gives them an opportunity to say, well, code is here, but we want to be way up here. We want to be way better. It's, an it's a voluntary program that's not required, but it's an opportunity to say, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, how can, how can we show what we care about. There are some reasons, some legal regulations, some basic conditions, but these systems of certification for green growth always go higher. So they always go higher from what is legal and legal. So the market wants to go higher and higher. Tržište traži bolje i više. Koliko traži tržište Srbije i Beograda? How much do you know about our buildings, about Belgrade and Serbia? I actually don't know so much about, I've walked around for a few days, I've seen a lot of beautiful buildings and seen the way some things work and some things maybe don't work quite so well. And one of the things Maria and I have talked about is that when you start to focus on reducing energy and making buildings healthier, making buildings more comfortable for people, one thing that you get is quality. You get, suddenly you have to pay attention to making sure things are done very well and that they're working properly before people move in or after they move in. You go back with the commissioning and you check to make sure everything's working properly. And then you get everything works better because somebody has really paid attention to the quality of what's going on. And so I think there's a real opportunity there as well to, to get this benefit that comes. There's a lot of opportunities. Yes. What you said, Nadi, is that yes, it's a building, but it's a very important way to use them. Kako se, kako ih posle, kako rukovodimo njima, kako upravljamo i sistemima energije, ali i samim našim opođenjem. Znači nije sad samo princip nova zgrada, pa gradimo nove zgrade, nego rekvalifikacija postojećih i naše ponašanje u postojećim zgradama. Znači to je boće bitno to. How much does it cost? Um, well, you know, it's very interesting. There's, there's two different ways you can do green building. The first, and this is the way people who are new to green building, they think, well, we take our usual kind of building and our usual process and we, and we insert green, we p like poke it in, and then it adds cost. And mm -hmm. sometimes the benefit is not is not so great. It's not so great. But the <laughs> second, but when you have a team of people, you have yes. architects and engineers and contract the builders, experts. the team of experts, mm -hmm. but also no, not not just the, the people who do the building, the designers, the builders. Yes. When they get together and they say from the beginning, okay, let's think differently. How would we do this building to really make it work well right from the start? Then you find you can actually do a lot of these things with no additional cost for the same price. So idea is most important. The idea, yeah. things, skill, things that for knowledge. example. The yes. knowledge, exactly. The knowledge. Just for example, sometimes just turning the building, right? Oh. Instead of facing this way, it might face this way. It doesn't cost any more, but now the solar energy works better and the ventilation works better and you have a more efficient building for no additional cost. Da, eksperti, ideja, znanja, sve je to moguće. Mi toga definitivno imamo, Marija. Ma imamo, naravno, mi imamo jednu tradiciju u građevinskoj industriji, građevin, uopšte, ovaj, mm -hmm. uh, gradnji godinova, znači decenijima. Jednostavno, zelena gradnja jeste jedan povratak dobrom projektovanju, dobrom izvođenju. Mi sad samo treba da pretresimo naše snage i da kažemo evo tu smo. Naravno da imamo. Naravno da imamo i stručnjake i bilo koji rating sistem koji dolazi iz bilo koj kraja sveta, nama nije problem. Mi decenijama pručavamo razne normative, strane i tako. Tako da spremni smo. Spremni tržište. Spremni smo. And what is your message to our builders? Well, what will be uh, yes. uh, main topic tomorrow? So what I would say is that when we make a building, or when we even manage a building, right, a lot of energy, a lot of money, a lot of resources go into that, and it's an expression of our values. This building says, what do we care about? Mm -hmm. And so if what we care about is looking fancy and having fancy marble from Africa or something from here, something from there, you know, looking ostentatious, well, that's what the building will say. But if what we care about is being good to the people in the building and having a good uh, statement, a good um, you know, low impact for on the environment or positive impact on the environment, then for the same cost, you can say, well, this is a building that stands for these values. So the building is an expression of our values. Maybe you can say that it really, you know, what we care about shows up in how we build. And if we care about protecting the environment, we care about doing the right thing, mm -hmm. the buildings can do that and it doesn't have to cost more. It's just a matter of where we put the resources. Yeah, 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 našeg opredeljenja. Znači, težimo ka kvalitetu. Kvalitetu, znači, neće biti izraz skupog mermera da pokažemo da imamo novca ili da je to sad neka fancy zgrada, kao što vam kaže. 
jednostavno ono do čega nam je stalo. Do principa i kvaliteta života i naravno uticaj na sredinu u kojoj će se skrade grade i na okolinu. I na okolinu, jasno. Samo kratko da čujemo najvažnije vesti pa ćemo još nekoliko pitanja imam za vas da privodimo razgovor kraju. Dakle, i još kratko smo sa Marijom Golubović, predsjednicom Saveta Zelene gradnje Srbije i gospodinom Nadavom Malinom, koga ćemo čuti sutra na drugom sajmu Zelene gradnje u Bratvo centru. Koga ćemo još osim gospodina Malina čuti? Veliki broj eksperata. Veliki broj eksperata, da. Dolazi podpredsjednica za internacionalne poslove Američkog Saveta Zelene gradnje, koja dolazi u Beograd za ovu priliku i ne znači ćemo imati priliku da postavimo i pitanja i da čujemo novosti u razvoju. Jer svi ovi rating sistemi se razvijaju i dižu stalno kriterijume na više. Znači, taman smo nešto uradili, ali treba, treba da idemo i dalje i bolje. Dalje bit će tu i predstavnici drugih protokola, evropskih protokola za sertifikaciju. Znači, imamo priliku da uporedimo i da čujemo. Čak je jedna vrlo interesantna sesija gde će svaki predstavnik uključi znači lead sertifikacija internacionalna već, pa BRIAM, koji je engleski protokol, DGMB nemački, da svako kaže svoje rezultate, kako se nose sa problemima u Evropi, koliko ga zgrade sertifikovano, kakvi su vrlo važna stvar koja se potencijira u lead rating sistemu jesu stvarne performanse zgrade. Znači, mi smo i sertifikovali kako se ponašaju. Pa ćemo čuti i o tome. Vrlo bitna stvar je rekvalifikacija postojeći zgrada, jer to je za nas budućnost recimo u Srbiji. Imat ćemo mnogo više. Pred nama postoji zadatak rekvalifikacije, ne toliko gradnje novih zgrada. Jasno. I mnogo domaćih eksperata. I mnogo domaćih eksperata, naravno, vidjet ćemo gde smo, a gde možemo da budemo. Čuli smo da to i ne mora baš mnogo da košta i da nije potrebno mnogo sredstava za tako nešto. Bitno je znanje koje definitivno imamo, bitni su stručnjaci kojih takođe imamo, ideja. Između ostalog, o tome će sutra i gospodin Malin govoriti na konferenciji koja počinje u 10. U 10 sat je svečano otvaranje u Bela Expo Hali na Novom Beogradu. Ulaz je, naravno, besplatan za sva tri dana krajanja sajma i konferencije. Tako da pozivamo zaista sve zainteresno. Ne samo iz oblasti stručnjake, arhitekte, građevinske inženjere, mašinice, nego i normalne korisnike. Jer zelena gradnja se osastuje u tome da svaki dan kad želimo da krećemo naš stan ili da sadimo biljku u našem dvoštu, da znamo kako da biramo. Tako je, da znamo kako da biramo, to je ključno, naravno. Vidimo se na sajmu. And Mr. Malin, you said that you're first time in Belgrade. Yes. Yes. And your impressions? Well, I'm seeing very beautiful buildings, very beautiful people. Food is excellent. Oh, food and fun is excellent, yes, but be careful. So far it's a couple of days, but it's been really fun. Yes. Uh, have a good fun. We have a good time here. And thank you for coming. Oh, thank you. Yes. It's an honor to be here. And see you again. Yes, I, I hope, hope so. so. Thank you. <laughs> yes, thank you very much. Maria, hvala vam. Hvala vam, Snežan, što zaista sjajno pratite i od prošle godine i sada zaista puno hvala. Naravno, trudimo se sve ono od čega Beograd ima benefit iz Srbije, a svakako da je dobro došli u našem programu. Ispratit ćemo i ovu konferenciju i vidimo se, nadam se, ne baš za godinu dana i pre toga, da sumiramo malo sve ove utiske. Hvala mnogo. Hvala vam.